me preocupaba la renta porque, pues no sé, tenía miedo de que nos fueran a decir que teníamos que dejar la, el apartamento porque no podíamos pagar. COVID-19 highlighted and worsened the social and racial injustices that have always existed in our country. It's perfectly clear now. The people who face the most vulnerable circumstances, like families on the brink of homelessness, low-wage hourly workers, communities of color, and undocumented residents, they are the ones who've been shouldering the weight of this pandemic. Irma is the head of her household. She's a single mom caring for three children and also caring for a brother who's dealing with cancer. She lost her job as a result of the pandemic. They battled coronavirus themselves as a household. And when she returned to work, returned to less hours than she normally would have had. So, you know, one of the partners that we worked with was Latinas Contra Cancer. Perfect example of an organization that's doing this really important work in the community focused on health equity. But this crisis exacerbated and became a housing crisis for her, for her constituents in a way that that was not as pronounced before. We immediately went into gear, which was uh, raise as much money as we could as quickly as possible and what policy protections needed to be in place. And, The CF Cisco was one of the first people I reached out to. It was like, we are screwed and I'm going to need your help. And he says, what do you need? What do you need? We were already in close touch with Destination Home and we're hearing from them the impact that it was having on the community that they serve. So we were able to build off of our $50 million commitment by making another $10 million donation to support the launch of their emergency financial assistance program. And the community foundation at the same time was like, oh, well, we will have a role here in relief funds. The community foundation immediately began raising funds to support local organizations like Destination Home that were helping families and individuals who needed it the most. And because of Destination Home's deep connections with dozens of other community-based organizations, we knew that they could equitably and effectively distribute the funds in Santa Clara County. What we love about what Destination Home does is they bring together the public sector, understand the gaps and where private funding can come in, oftentimes faster and more flexibly to kind of fill those gaps and meet the needs of our community. And then with additional support from the County of Santa Clara, the City of San Jose, and generous companies like Cisco, Destination Home quickly expanded their system to provide financial help to families who were hit the hardest by the economic devastation of COVID-19. Sí me ayudó porque este me ayudaron a pagar la renta, este me ayudaron con también con comida y este y también he recibido mucho apoyo para mi hermano que tiene cáncer y yo les agradezco mucho porque no sé qué hubiera hecho sin su ayuda.